Good evening. Welcome to another edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show. My name is Leon Jones, and I got a good one for you on this Tuesday, October 31st. Happy Halloween 2023. Now, I have to do this one going back to my scam series again. Now, I just want to put it out there to you all who have businesses or who are about to start businesses. And this is very important, so you need to listen very carefully. When you trademark something, you submit your logo to the USPTO, and it's the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Once you pay your fee, your logo is good for 10 years. Now, if you copyright your logo, it's art. It's good for 70 years. Now, beware of this, because I want to show you something in the moment. You got scammers out there. And one place where you see a scam, it's in Huntington Valley, Pennsylvania, and it used to be on Market Street in Philadelphia. So I want everybody to beware of this company because they try to get me. Now, here's what they'll do. They'll send you a letter in the mail. What they try to send me in the mail. And see, I've already paid for a trademark. Now, you have to beware of this company. It's called the Patent and Trademark Bureau. They're not a government organization. Now, they're telling me that my trademark is about to expire on November 18, 2023. Now, you have to read the important information when you're getting this letter. Now, the, they tell you, and here's what the letter looks like again. This is what came to me. This is my logo that I designed. But the information that you need to hear is, please return a document with your signature and or company stamp in the appropriate space if you would like to renew your trademark. Now, there's a red flag right there. I renewed my trademark with my lawyer who did all the paperwork for me in 2021. So my logo is good till 2031. What they're trying to do is get information from you. This, this is another scam. And this is what you got to beware of. Because they're telling me my trademark will be renewed for another 10 years. First of all, they got your they get your information because people are selling your information. Now, let me share my screen because I want everybody to know about this company right now. Okay. It said, beware of scammer, patent and trademark bureau. Yes, I'm putting your address out there. They're located at 2058 County Line Road, Suite 113, Huntington Valley, Pennsylvania. Now, this trademark scammer has recently moved to the address of 2058 County Line Road, Suite 113 in Huntington Park, Pennsylvania, zip 19006. But guess what? The scam is the same. Warning. And this information I got is from an attorney's office. So warning about trademark registration deadlines with false information long before renewal can be filed. So I've already paid for my new registration. So the next time I file for a new registration, 
is going to be in another eight years. Now, they've already violated the warning already because they're saying the renewal fee, and you have to pay a renewal fee, is $19.50 for one class and $8.50 for each additional class. Now, when we talk about classes, you could have on your trademark two or three or four different classes. So because I have one class, class is 037. They want me to pay $19.50 plus $8.50. That's $3,000. Trademarks don't cost $3,000 to get renewed. Now, what they will do, if you go ahead and you sign it, now you're already committed yourself. Now they got you locked in. And they're telling you you will receive a document from them after they have received the signed document from you. By signing this document, you listen. You automatically, listen again, you automatically empower Patent and Bureau to renew the trademark stated above on your behalf. Patent and Trademark Bureau reminds companies when their trademarks are due for renewal. Note that trademarks, listen to this, note that trademarks may be lost if they are failed to be renewed in time. Now, they do tell you this. Patent and Trademark Bureau is a private business that is not endorsed by the U.S. government. Patent and Trademark Bureau provides the expertise that modern businesses need to navigate the Patent and Trademark's office registration and renewal process. That's what you get an intellectual property lawyer for. That's what I got. Now, the funny thing about it is that they even set up, if you look at it, they set up a registration number and everything for you. But that's all phony because it's already been renewed. Now, if you go ahead and you follow what any of these letters are saying, you commit yourself, and they're going to automatically take the funds out of your paycheck. It's almost $3,000. So if you're going to file for a trademark renewal, do it with an intellectual property lawyer. Now, again, this is not a government agency and in no way affiliated with the USPTO. Now, they have been doing this for a long period of time without any law enforcement. So I'm putting it out there. And anybody who deals with any of these trademark scammers, you need to watch this video or put a video out of your own. Because there are people that are being scammed out here and they don't know they're being scammed. Now, must understand that the date the deadline cited in the offering is definitely wrong. And what they do, they intentionally mislead you. Now, are they attorneys? What services do they offer in exchange for their fee? Because I'm just going to say this. If this was a legitimate service at a reasonable value, why would they mask who they are? And why would they try to choose the clearly deceptive name of Patent and Trademark Bureau? Why would their address have moved multiple times? This is how you tell it's a scam. Again, most recently, they moved to Huntington Valley, PA. Perhaps, I'm going to say this, the USPTO, the United States Patent and Trademark Office, should be working with landlords to help stop scammers from using their address services. Now, I do suggest that anyone who has been affected by this issue write to the USPTO 
the FTC and the post office and urge them to move more quickly and more forcibly to bring an end to these scams. Again, this is what the letter looks like. Looks like this, just like the one I had. Just like the one I had. Now you can see somebody had seen something. This is from Brenda Brown. She says, thank you so much for having this website to warn me of the scam. Now, she was going to go ahead and mail the patent renewal to this address. Now, the other scam place is in Philadelphia. However, they moved from Philadelphia. Now, they wanted her to pay $1,250 to renew the patent. She almost sent it in. And you know what? This is why you have to read everything very carefully. And because of this site, she didn't get scammed. And they said they, these two companies are scammed. They knew about it. Why and where is the attorney general for Pennsylvania? Also, why is he not shutting down these crooks? Now, I know in other states, they also have this same type of shenanigans going on. But what they're doing, they're looking to collect money from you, acting as if they're the government. And what they want to do is put the money in their pocket. That's all they want to do. This is why I do the scam series, because it's very, very important. Another comment. This is from Kevin H. I appreciate you where, raising awareness on us. I just found out this week that I got scammed by this very one on Friday. I had done some research because there was an off feeling about the whole thing. But after searching the address, things looked okay. Unfortunately, guess what he did? He got scanned. He sent the check, and it's already been cashed, so it's probably long gone. Now, again, you got to read the fine print. And, an, and another person. Thanks for this website. And this is from a lawyer. And yeah, Patent and Bureau, Patent and Trademark Bureau, you're going in the title of my website. You're you're going you're you're going on the title of my video correction, not my website. I wish I did have a website so I could take you down. But I hope many of you watch this video if you have a business or if you're about to start a business because it's very important. You have a number of crooks that are trying to scam money from you. You even have some that are trying to pose as if they were attorneys. That's happened to me as well, but it didn't work. Again, if you are going to be doing any type of Trademarking your service mark. Remember, get yourself an intellectual property lawyer. Let them fill out the paperwork for you because they'll do the research. I did it. I did it for the fee of $1,350. And then I renewed it for about $325. And then I also got my service mark copyright you got to protect yourself don't jump so quickly and this is what I tell people when you don't know what's going on make sure you ask because when you work very hard for your money and you have people that try to take it away, once it's gone, you'll never get it back. Because in the end, when you become a victim of deception, that means you have been scammed. 
And that's my commentary for this edition of the 401 Talk Zone radio show right here on YouTube. If you like what I just presented, please comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are looking for some STEM content, check out my second channel, QCIS channel, because on that channel, I'll give you a daily dose of science, technology, engineering, and math. If you cannot find the 401 Talk Zone radio show or the QCIS channel on YouTube, you can find both of those channels on my Twitter page. Now for the QCIS channel, I'll take it one step further. Since it is an educational channel, you can also find that channel on my LinkedIn page. In the end, always be blessed for what you have. Don't worry about what you don't have. Know that the sun rises in the east, sets in the west. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. But if the shoe fits, wear it. If you don't like the shoe, change it. And once again, thank you for listening to this edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show right here on YouTube. And what I got coming up, my next video, I'm going to give my take on the Cheesecake Factory delusional woman. And there's also a list, and it's going to connect to her, a list that's going around from a site of where men should take women, particularly African-American women. Let's just be clear. Many of them haven't left the site of their own city, and they want to eat steak and seafood. Well, I got a list of 50, and I found 10 more myself. And it, it's funny because the Cheesecake Factory delusional girl, because that's what I'm going to call her, says she doesn't want to eat at chain restaurants, but there are a lot of chain restaurants out there. I found 60 restaurants, and 20 of them are chains. I bet you she would eat at one of them if she was hungry and she wasn't paying for it. Because you got a number of these females out looking for free meals. But that's on another video. But again, thank you for viewing this content right here on the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. I want you all to have a wonderful a gracious evening. God bless you. I'm out.